welcome to a couple of instigators. Today I have Margaret and Jen. Hey. Hi. I, okay, I've been waiting. I wanted you guys to all be in the room because we're oh, on boy. Zoom and I wanted to share with you. You're uh, pregnant. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Pico got a new outfit. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I watched. I thought you were going to say he died. I was no. like, oh no. He, he's wearing What's the hell a-, a construction worker? It's a helmet. Uh, Pico. He looks like he- a painter. Someone screenshot Pico's helmet. Okay, so I couldn't find it in a cute color, but I, so I had, to, I had to get him pink. Pink is the cutest color. Yes. So Danielle had to sew it because it wouldn't stay on his head. Oh, Jesus. So. Look at it tongue is sticking out and it matches now he's really like the special needs dog with his yes. little special needs helmet all right take a take a screenshot ready oh hold on there you go all right so pico yeah so uh, is this to got, protect the hole in his head yes he's got the oh. hole in his head so he was playing the other day with a friend of mine's dog and they kept on hitting him in the head and i'm like oh no pico's soft spot so I went online and I found this little biker skull cap and we had to get pink. What does he think of it? I can't. Look at him. I he can't. hates it. Right? The special needs dog is a helmet. Look at his face. Oh my God. Cindy. I will post this on our Facebook page. This is literally the worst thing ever. Margaret, do you see how cute he is? I'm going to get stickers. So Danielle has a bicycle. I What's going on with her? <laughs> I think she drank what too much. Well. Margaret, stop talking. Margaret is obviously having technical difficulty. I will mute her until we can figure out what to do with her. Uh, <laughs> Margaret, you may have to go sit on top of your internet connection. Um, I think she's okay now. She looks like she's moving now. Margaret, are you back? She muted. There, there we I'm- go. All right. If I, if I wave at you, that means mute. Because I'm having problems. You're having problems. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear how you uh, sound. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Margaret said she was at the beach, but she certainly sounds like she's been drinking. All right. All right. So, so Jen, yeah. So there's my story. Pico got a helmet and, um, yeah, that's it. So anyway, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I don't know. I feel poor little Pico. I just, I don't know. Okay. Well, (laughs) world. When I take, when I go back to the vet, because he has appointment to get fixed, uh, this month, actually, I think it's like the 15th, whatever. So, they're also going to pull out two teeth that never fell out, like two baby teeth. Yeah. So what I was going to do is um, he wants to send me to like the specialist dog neurologist and all this for like brain surgery. I'm like, everything I Googled, a lot of people said their chihuahua has a little bit larger hole than average. All chihuahuas have this diamond shaped hole in their head because of their size, their soft spot never really closes up. So I'm just going to say, I don't need to go to a neurologist. I don't need to spend thousands of dollars. I got this helmet for $11.99 and I'm going to bring the helmet and I'm going <laughs> I'm going to show them that Pico's fine. I don't even know what to say. Like and <laughs> you, paid, you, paid, you paid $800 for this dog, right? No, no, no. Three. I talked on oh, two. I talked her down. Oh, she wanted eight though. She wanted three. No, okay. he was bargain. He was I on still sale. don't think 200 that was a bargain. But <laughs> I already feel bad enough I chewed down the woman for him, okay? Jen, I'm going to get little stickers for his helmet. Oh, bless. What kind of stickers? I don't know. We're just put little stickers on it right here. You know, oh, like, 
I'm gonna put like a little bikers, I don't know. So anyway, we have a, a bike in the garage that I have bought Danielle and she never rides it. It's like a motorbike, hot. like a pedal bike. Pedal bike. Pedal bike, okay. It's like hot pink and it has a basket. It's like one of those beach cruisers. I'm gonna take pictures of him in his basket for his Instagram, okay? I think you should drive around the neighborhood. Well, I mean, let's not get crazy because what if, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I will, but I, we're using it for a photo op right now. Uh, and it's for his Instagram. And if anybody wants to follow Pico on Instagram, his Instagram handle is Daily Dose of Pico. <laughs> follow him. He already has 186 followers. He says he already has more than me. Yeah, so P he's probably going to get more than me. So, yeah, so Pico has his own Instagram called Daily Dose of Pico. Oh, Did what I if I put my grandma in the bike? No. So my grandparents have a house on, like, a private island. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother thought she'd be the cutest thing in the world driving around this little island on a bicycle. Yeah. When I got a bicycle. She's in her 80s. Yeah. She probably hasn't ridden a bike since she was a teenager. She had no idea if she remembered how to ride a bike. So she didn't want to embarrass herself and do it in the driveway and have all the other old biddies on the in the neighborhood talking about don't trying to learn to drive a bike. Mm -hmm. So they have a really, really big deck on the back of the house. So she took the bike out there and decided to do circles just to see if she still remembered how to ride a bike. Yeah. We go to visit her. This woman is bruised. From, like, head to toe. Like, she looks like my grandfather beat the shit out of her. Like, she's so... She's a disaster. What the hell happened to you? So she's yeah. riding a bike around the deck. And you know those, like, swings that have, like, the canopy over top and it's two swings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have one of those. She gets caught in that with her bike and somersaults through the swing. <laughs> no. <laughs> How did she get caught? What did she do? Like, not hit the brakes? I have no idea. She just, like, crashed into it? <laughs> oh so we're God. sure this thing just went rolling across the deck with her in it bouncing around. Oh, my goodness. Poor oh my granny. God. Right? So, yeah, don't get on the bike. Don't get on the bike. <laughs> um... Uh, just a little uh, PSA. Danielle had me out there screaming for the cat in the pouring rain, and I'm like, she's not coming. She just walked past me. She was never outside. She was never. She's back. She's here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So the cat was never outdoors. I don't know what happened to Margaret. We're still missing her. Um, uh, do you have anything you want to discuss really quick? Because I was going to go straight into some news. No, well, unless talk hockey let's just talk about news oh yeah so wait a minute let's talk hockey so it's back just in general i want to discuss this whole sporting and da 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 um what is going to happen so with... they're back. they're going into playoffs now um they tried to go in vegas originally was supposed to be one of the cities mm -hmm. but no offense you guys are all a mess <laughs> so that got scrapped um so now they're totally split between toronto and edmonton all the teams american u.s canadian all the teams are split between those two cities the eastern teams are in toronto western teams are all in edmonton right playing so there's like four games a day which is brilliant four, four games a day is what you've been watching yeah, it's been insane. There's, like, nonstop hockey all day long. It's great. I think there's actually four. I think each Wait, wait, wait. So the they, did they just rush the season? Is that how they got to playoffs so quick? No, they, they never finished the season. They just cut the season off, and they're doing this play-in round to figure out who's going to play in the playoffs this week, and then playoffs start next week. They never actually finished the season. Oh, so, but they had his, his hockey was going though prior, right? Yeah. So they went with the standings as of March, whatever that it finished. Okay. Are, are the players like the teams all, are a lot of people pissed or does it seem fair? No, they seem good. The players all seem excited. They're all in this bubble. So does it seem fair though, the way they just ended it and went straight to the playoff? Are they going to do it that way or? 
I think so because this week it's all the good teams like got there. Yeah, they're doing sort of this shortened to see. So normally there's 16 teams in the playoffs. This year they took 24. Mm -hmm. So this week, eight teams will get disqualified, and then it'll be down to the normal 16 for playoffs starting next week. Okay, so they're playing two empty stands with no applause? They have applause. They're piping in applause. Oh, they are. uh, Crowd cheering. Oh, okay, because I heard that's what they're doing with, like, basketball. I haven't watched any yet. But I guess cardboard cutouts in the audience. Um, this of real is- people, like, but it's the cardboard cutout. And you know what I thought? Like, they should have offered people, like, for charity, they could have got their picture of their cardboard cutout in the oh, audience each day. That'd be so fun. Yeah. And they could have panned the cardboard cutouts just like they would in a regular game. And, like, whoever paid for these cutouts, it could be, like, going towards charity or knowing the teams, they want to make the money. But, yeah, totally should have offered people that for charity, and then each game or whatever, how many games, they have the same cutouts and the seats and the audience. Yeah, it would have been a pretty cool idea, I think, if they would have done that. And they would have probably made a lot of money for charity. Yeah, that's so fun. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, that would be really cool if, like, you were a huge fan and you got to have your cutout. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even your cutout in the audience would have been funny. Um, in Japan, they did stuffed animals for baseball in the stands. Oh, they stuck out big, big, big stuffed yeah. animals. It's kind of fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun, too. But, yeah, so I thought it would. I saw the, all these cardboard cutouts on, uh, you know, I was looking at the news, and I'm like, well, who are these people? And I'm like, I wonder if they paid or. Yeah, that's a super good idea. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Margaret. Um, What else was I going to say? Oh, so now apparently a lot of these teams, I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't really watch too many sports, but I, as far as news goes, that they're testing positive for COVID. And they said like something like 18 players on, I might have been an NFL team or something all tested positive. Um, One of the baseball teams, like the whole team had to like leave because they're all testing positive. Okay, so I didn't really follow, but I wonder if they're sick or because, I mean, they're constantly testing them or I wonder if they're just like healthy, positive, but they're testing positive, but they're not really sick. I would think probably asymptomatic, like yeah, positive, but no things. So far, no hockey players since they've been in the bubble have it. The first two days, they did something like 4,000 tests. Yeah. They did the bubble for a week today and there is... 7,500 tests I think they've done and still no all negative oh okay uh today oh I was gonna tell you so I was doing a little instigating this week um Uh it's just on our local uh Facebook page for our like our city and town and uh there's about 22,000 members on one of them Oh, wow. And this lady is on there completely bitching that, you know, a couple school teachers that there's no way that they should be going back to school. And these school teachers are like, there's no way I'm going. I'm not going in to teach and that's it. And I'm thinking, you know, that's really, really stupid. Not st- Well, I mean, I understand, but this is what made me mad. It's like I posted those kids are going to half those kids have to go to daycare. They're all going to be together in daycare. Yeah. So basically you want, what's going to happen is, is that these poor people that are working at the daycare centers making minimum wage are going to be teaching the kids now. Instead, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. yeah. And I don't know how are all these daycare workers going to get all these kids on these Zoom learning things. They're not. I have no idea. Right. I, I I have a friend and I'm so confused about what's going on. Mm-hmm. So kids here go back to school in September. Mm-hmm. So grade four and up, they have to wear 